Hi friends, in this series, we are deploying machine learning models to different services from GCP, AWS and Azure. Today we look at GCP Cloud Run, which is a container deployment service and one of the best services for serving machine learning models. Using this service, we can deploy multiple versions of the model, we can split the traffic between them and we have auto scaling, load balancing, uh, uh, etc. Okay. All right. So what do we need? So in this cloud run, you will see these files. First, we need a file to train uh, our machine learning model. So here we have very simple uh, model to predict the classification of iris flowers. Okay. And then we have deploy file. Uh, which is using fast api and pydantic here we have created a post method to uh, predict the uh, iris species okay and then here we have a docker file uh, to containerize our application now these three files i have already discussed in very detail in previous videos but if you have any questions or do let me know in the comments. Now, one important uh, thing to consider is when we want to train the model, is it before we deploying the model or do we already have uh, a trained model given to us uh, by let's say a data scientist, right? So, here we have the base image and we are creating a working directory and then we are copying a bunch of files. Now, depending on if we already have a trained model, we will copy either the trained model or we copy uh, the train file, okay? And then here we are doing uh, the standard uh, 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 library installs using the requirement files, okay? It require very standard uh, uh, libraries like joblib, scikit-learn, pydantic, uh, and for serving fast API and uvcon, okay? Now, as I mentioned, if we already have a trained model, we can just copy the model uh, to the Docker to the Docker uh, if it's available local, and then we can read the model uh, like this, or we can upload the model to a storage bucket, and we can you read the model from the storage bucket also. But let's also train the model uh, before deploying. Okay, so that's why. We are copying the train file uh, uh, also uh, to our working directory and then here we are running the train file which means we are going to train the model uh, before deploying okay and then we are uh, exposing uh, the port 880 and finally we are deploying the uh, uh, our app uh, using uh, uvcon so our deployment file name is uh, deploy uh, this is the file name deploy and our app inside this deploy uh, is app okay so as i mentioned uh, this file i have discussed uh, in very detail in one of the previous videos please do have a look all right and then uh, we are allowing incoming requests uh, from everywhere uh, and finally uh, our container is going to listen to our requests uh, on port 880 all right okay so uh, the only thing new is uh, how do we deploy so we have uh, all these uh, source files uh, let's see how do we deploy right uh, it's super simple uh, let me see my commands oh yeah so <clears throat> then we need to create this additional file uh, called cloudbuild.yaml so we are going to train the model on cloud build using the docker container and then push the model to artifact registry and then deploy that container to cloud run okay so there are three steps involved so here in step number one we are going to build the docker image okay and for that to build the image we need a compute right so this is one of the builder instances 
are provided by the GCP. Okay, so we are using this builder instance or cloud build instance to run this command which is building the docker. Okay, so dot means it's uh, in the current working directory and uh, if you don't give a file name it look for a docker file but if our file name is different we need to specify that file name uh, here okay so we are simply uh, building the docker and tagging it uh, with this name uh, my ml app uh, gcrio that's the syntax and then here you give your uh, project id and your uh, uh, actual uh, image name okay and then we push the image to GCR artifact registry. Previously, they used to have container registry and separate registry, uh, sorry, container registry and artifact registry, but now uh, GCP is encouraging to use only the artifact registry, okay? Uh, we are using the same cloud build instance to push the image we have just created, okay? And finally, we deploy our container to cloud run okay now this time we are going to use a different build instance which is called this cloud builder g cloud okay and then the entry point are the gcp cli command google cloud this run is the service that's the cloud run service and we want to deploy a service or an app called my ml app using this container image which we just push to artifact registry okay and then uh, these uh, we can leave it to default uh, so the platform is managed region is us central one and allow unauthenticated so this is for testing purpose we allow traffic from everywhere and finally here we have our service account okay now we are leaving many options to de their default values for example we can uh, we can set uh, the timeout uh, the number of instances, minimum instance, maximum instance, uh, so many variables, uh, configuration variables we can set depending on our application. But we are trying to deploy with minimal code, okay, so that we can get started. All right. So we have the cloud build, and finally uh, we run the commands uh, which I have here. So first, uh, we need to set up a Google Cloud account. You are deploying machine learning model, so I assume you have already done that. Uh, now let's look at what I have in my config file. Okay, so I already set up my region, uh, the account and uh, the project. In case if you have not, you can set up uh, those like this. So G cloud config set project and here you give your project ID, right? Once you set up all those, you need to authenticate using Google uh, G cloud auth login command that will take you to the browser uh, where you can uh, enter your uh, G Cloud credentials. Okay. Once we have authenticated, all we need to do is just G Cloud builds submit. Okay. So I'll do this. All right. So now the commands we have in our YAML file, these steps we are currently running on our cloud build. Let's see how they look like. So here I'm in my cloud build. So these are my previous deployments. So this is the current deployment, uh, which is still running. So if I look here, so here we have our three steps. Okay. So this first step, it's going to build the container. The second one, push the container to the artifact registry. And this one, deploy our container to Google Cloud Run. Now, in this one, we are also training the model, right? So depending on our training data size and the model, uh, it will take uh, some time. But in our case, it's a very small, it's a it's Iris data set with only 150 records and uh, uh, only four features. So it will finish within a few seconds. Okay. All right. It's still running, but I have deployed my ML model to the same endpoint twice uh, just before 
recording this video. So on the cloud run, this is how it looks like. So for if I go here, so this is the app I have deployed. To this one, go to revisions. I have already deployed two versions of the model. So think of a scenario like, uh, let's say you, uh, uh, you change some uh, feature engineering, right? Or some feature transformation, or you might have uh, uh, included a new feature as well. But if you are including a new feature, uh, the different models will be taking different number of features, right? So in that case, you might uh, deploy uh, 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 to a completely new endpoint, okay? So here, it's, it's the, the number of features is the same, but let's say some feature transformation or feature engineering uh, I done uh, uh, slightly differently. So I can have multiple versions of the model deployed. And then by default, 100% of the traffic is set to the latest deployment. But here I can say, let's say this is my uh, champion model and the, uh, uh, which, is, uh, which is in use from a while. And now I have deployed a new model, which is my challenger model. So before redirecting 100% of the traffic to my challenger model, I might want to test it, right? So I can split the traffic. For example, let's say manage traffic. Now, so this is the latest healthy version, which is by default serving 100% of the traffic. What I can do is, let's say my model is uh, not good. My latest model, which is this uh, three is not good. I want to go back to my previous model and serve 100% of the traffic, okay? I can do this, I can delete this and save. So you will see our previous version of the model is going to serve all the 100% of the traffic. Or what I can do is, or what I can do is, let's say again, go to manage traffic. So to the latest, model, I want to direct only 20% of the traffic and to the previous champion model, I want to direct 80% of the traffic so that I can test for a while how my new model is performing. Once I am happy with my new model, then I can direct 100% of the traffic to my new model. But notice all these models are served under the same endpoint uh, which we see here. But there might be scenarios where you might want to have a, a different endpoints for testing, uh, etc. So in such a case, what you can do is, you go here, you can, let's say I have added uh, this test uh, to my existing endpoint. So I'll save it. Now I have two endpoints, okay? So the default endpoints is serving my latest model and my this test endpoint is serving the previous model okay so let's test uh, the latest endpoint okay so if you look into our deploy we have uh, so we have the health check uh, the get method the root uh, get method by default uh, it prints this message ml uh, prediction uh, api is up and running which is what we are seeing here. Now, since we are using Flask API, uh, we can go to docs, uh, which is created by default. That's one of the advantages of using Flask. So try it out. So here we have the four features and execute. And here I have the prediction. Okay. All right. Uh, let's just test uh, our endpoint using the standard method, but uh, uh, like, uh, curl our requests, okay? So I go here. Now, here I have my test API method. So let me have my new endpoint, API, sorry, API endpoint. So this is my endpoint. I'll remove this, which is exactly the same, of course. So my endpoint, and this is my payload, uh, the headers, and making a post request and printing the response. So I'll save this. All right, so Python. Here I have my test API.py file. All 
Oh, sorry, I know what happened. Change my uh, environment. Hmm, let me check what's happening. This is the predict method. Okay, I think I missed this. Yep, so here you see the result. Okay. All right, uh, so a quick recap. Um, so all we need is this new YAML file. So previously we have already seen a train file to train the model, deploy file to create a fast API application and Docker file to containerize our application. We have just created this cloud build YAML file to deploy the model using cloud build and cloud run with three, three very simple steps. Build the container, sorry, build the Docker image, push the image to artifact registry, and then deploy the image to cloud run as a container service using this very simple cloud builds uh, submit command. Okay. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, thank you very much.